Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to Estancia Lapacho here in Paraguay in South America. And I just wanted to go over here and take a look at the plane a minute because a few people have been saying that this is not Paraguay, this is elsewhere. I didn't actually know where it was, but a number of people have told me to go and check this one out, which I did previously, and it's that ZP that tells us that we are in Paraguay. So unless this plane is in the wrong country, we're just going to go on that bit there telling us that it is Paraguay, and that's what we're going to go with. So I hope that I've sort of addressed that. Because I had a few people sort of mentioning this over the last few weeks. Um, so hopefully this sort of allayed your concerns and we can continue on. So what we're doing at the moment is the combine is busy working and I have got the hired help going again with the course play course on the John Deere over here. Let's just go over to it. That's doing an absolutely wonderful job there. And we're just going to leave the AI hired help going round and round the field. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't going to, decided I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to leave it running like that, or at least I am for now. And then... We'll sort of see how it goes afterwards. Because it's running on auto, it's actually stopping when it gets to the end of the line. So I'm hoping that this John Deere here will... Well, actually, with this particular load, it's just going to stop here in the field and it's going to wait. Because I think we've got it set to 80% that it goes and... See, I can check that, can't I? Uh, where is it? It's under... It's, uh, manage courses? No. Under here. Side, offset, auto. Start at 50%. Drive on at 80%. So, yeah, when the... Um, trailer reaches 80% full it will go and empty out or it should do it should do um, we can ignore that now why is that combine not moving this is driving to wait why is it driving over to the waypoint I'm not quite sure what the tractor is doing but let's go over this way and shall I want to go back it will be quicker we go back to our combine like this come on Where's, where is it ah Okay, now it has started working. It just needed to wait for the track to move out of the way so that it could um, sort itself out a bit. Now what's it doing? It will eventually unconfuse itself, unconfuddle itself, and it will carry on. And we've got the corn over there. That will all be taken back to the, um, to, to the main yard. And it will all be tipped out. Everything will be tickety-boo. Everybody will be happy. And there will be no concerns whatsoever at any point. Now then, um, weekly question. Before we do the weekly question, my random event. I really think that perhaps the dice I'm using is slightly weighted in one way because once again, I shook a five and I've been shaking a lot of fives lately, I think. Um, and then I shook a six. We had a five and a six, which meant that it was machinery and then nothing happened at all. It is a neutral day, uh, no, nothing's happened. So we, we, our random event is nothing. And the last two random events were both the combine breaking down. So I'm starting to think that maybe I should go find a different dice to use so that we get a little bit more variety on a random event. So random event is a, a nil, null, and void this time. And then if I go in here, oh, that's a bit better. It's very noisy, that combine, isn't it? So yes, we have um, the five C drills that we were potentially going to get. Now we had, I told you it could be these, um, this, uh, now I've been saying Vardastad. And I've been told that the first A should be a short A. So I, I don't know if that's Vader, as in Darth Vader, or Vada, as in Vada. Um, Darth, Darth Vada or Darth Vader? Um, I think it's Vadastad. And I, I think it is Stad rather than Stad. So I'm, I'm going here for Vadastad for that one. But anyway, that one there was one of the options, and that one ended up being bottom of the list. We have 1,224 people. Now, remember, I do record this one on a Friday because I don't have time to do it any other way around. Um, so all of the people that watch the series at the weekend, you're, you, unfortunately, you don't get to vote. Um, I am looking at maybe trying to figure out some other way to do this so that people who only get to watch at weekends and um, pick up the episodes then uh, will actually get to have a say. But at the moment, they don't. So that's why we've had for the last couple of months quite a few less people out there, the votes showing up. So anyway, 1,224 people. 50 of you voted for that one. That one was the least popular. Then we have the Horsch Pronto 9, that one right there. That one had 97 votes in total. So, not very popular. People don't want those. People want something a bit different. So then we go over here, and we have the Horsch Evo, we have the Stara, and we've got this little John Deere here. Now, I've also been told that this John Deere, you can actually string multiple ones of these together, and sort of, uh, so you can have wider than just a six meter drill. But anyway, we had 129 people vote for that one. Then we had this one here, 
the Horsch Evo, which is a 12-meter drill, with five, uh, 410 people vote for that one. And this one, on the first day, this one absolutely mopped the floor. Everybody voted for this one. Um, but the other two days, a load of people voted for the Stara Estrella 32. So this actually ended up with this one at 410 votes and this one at 538 votes. So this Stara right here has won the vote. Now, some people have told me that they've had some issues with this Stara and it doesn't like uneven ground very much. So we will sort of keep that in mind. But at the moment... This, this is the one that we're going to be getting. So I'm not going to get it yet. We will get this one after we've done some of the harvest. And we need to get a tractor to go with it. Now, I said that Agco is our main sponsor. We got Stara and we got Agco. It's the two big com um, companies. Plus, we got Horsch as well. Um, they are providing the seed drill for us free of charge. So we won't have to spend any money on the seed drill. So we go out of here. We go in here. Now, I wasn't sure which tractors are from Agco. A load of people have answered that question. It is apparently Fent and Valtra and Massey Ferguson and Challenger. There's a four tractors that you get from Agco. Uh, now, there is a modded Challenger tractor. It's about a thousand horsepower. Oh, no, no, it's Challenger 1000. It's, um, it's not an articulated tractor. I wanted to avoid using articulated machines if at all possible. So, really, we got a choice. We can't use that New Holland, the T8. That one's out. But we had a choice between. I would say, the Massey Ferguson, the Fent, and the Valtra. Now, the problem with this Massey Ferguson is it doesn't go quite high. 400 horsepower is a very powerful tractor, but it's not quite high enough, I don't think. The Fent here, that one is only 390, although that one's got the nice road speed. I do love the fact that it goes up to 60k, whereas the others are only 50k. Uh, this one here is, again, 400 horsepower, so it's another one that's not quite strong enough. Um, the T8... That one goes to 435, but unfortunately, New Holland are not one of our sponsors. We've got uh, Massey, Fent, Valtra, and Challenger. So I might have to go and look for a modded tractor. However, a lot of people have been asking me to use the small Big Bud. They don't think it would be completely out of place on this map. And a lot of people um, are saying, well, the reason we should use this is because nobody else ever uses it. Nobody ever uses the Big Bud 450. They use this one, the great big one. And that one would be completely out of place. But I'm starting to think that maybe this one here wouldn't be out of place on this map. So I'm sort of looking through some of the other stuff that we've got. We've got some of these tracked challenges over here. And really, we would go for the Field Python. Uh, we've used the Field Python before, I know. But again, I think it would be one that we would actually use. So my question for this week is, do we go for the Challenger Field Python, the 396 right there? Now, I do have another Fent. I'm not going to go for Fent or anything else. I'm literally just going to go the Challenger Field Python, that one right there. This one over here, I don't think has an upgrade. It does. It does have an upgrade. So we got the Field Viper. We, we can go for both of these. Um, we got the Field Python right there. We've got the Field Viper right there. Um, those two modded ones. Now, you can't actually... I don't think there is anywhere to download these mods. These were um, pre-order bonuses for when I first got the game. Um, that one is part of the Horsch mod pack, so we could always include that one. But I, Well, we could, but I'm not going to. Just to, I'm going to keep this simple. Field Viper, Field Python, or the Big Bud 450, the smaller of the Big Buds, right? I think those three tractors do kind of fit. So we've got Challenger coming from Agco. We could have either one of those, the, cha the, um, the Challenger Field Python or the slightly smaller Challenger Field Viper. However, they're both able to pull the Estrella absolutely fine with no problem. Or we could have a special deal. Agco have pulled some strings that have managed to get us the small Big Bud 450. So as your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Which of those three tractors do you want? The Challenger Field Python, the Challenger Field, Pi uh, Field Viper, or the Big Bud 450, the smaller of the two Big Buds, which is one that hardly anybody uses and I don't think we've used other than just when we first looked at it. We're just going to watch this one, make sure he's doing all of his stuff that he should be doing, and he is. He's, he's absolutely fine. Tip trigger reached. He's tipping it all out. Course play is working absolutely fine on there. We've got no issues whatsoever. So our next task is to go and get started on the um, other harvest. We're, we're, we're starting today on the... No, oh, I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. We're starting today on the silage. 
promised you we would start the silage we're doing whole crop silage and uh, i've had a few suggestions for which one we're going to use um but this one here we used it it back at christmas just to do some aerial shots and then we reset it here to the shop and we haven't moved it so that's why it's here we will use it again um i promise you we will definitely use it again uh it was just we haven't used it for quite a while that's all um now a few people have been saying that we overuse john deere's on this one and also on the time lapse series the reason being i haven't used uh, john deere at all ever um this is not one that i've used previously i mean, very occasionally i've like put in a small john deere or something but the vote was this time on this map that we prioritize Stara and then John Deere. So because we prioritize John Deere, that's what I'm using on this map. And I'm also using Massey Ferguson and John Deere on the time lapse because, again, it's two that I've never used in the time lapse series either. So that's why I've suddenly got a lot of John Deere going on. And people have pointed out that there does seem to be excessive amounts of John Deere going on at the moment, which they're not keen on um but yeah that, that's that's why this this that's what's going on so we've got 36 inch tracks we've got the deluxe tracks twin wheels front wide tires standard now we've got the 36 inch tracks on the john deere combine so i'm going to go for the deluxe tracks on this one despite the fact that the um the 36 inch tracks do seem to be bigger we're still going to go for deluxe we've got the biggest possible engine upgrade that we can get so we've got an 843 horsepower engine we're going to lease that one at thirty two thousand eight hundred dollars so there is our um, forager that we're going to be using. So we'll just skip through to here. We need a whole cropper. Now, I don't actually know. Oh, there we go. John Deere. John Deere is in yellow. It always confuses me when John Deere stuff is in yellow. It really does. It always confuses me. So this is just a corn header. You've then got that one there, which again is just a corn header. That's nine meters. Um, you got these here, which are headers attached. These are pickup reels, basically. Uh, three meters wide. Four meters wide five meter wide pickup reel okay that's actually enormous i don't know why you would want a five meter pickup reel i guess so that you don't need to row it up or something anyway this one here is 6.2 meters and this is one we want this does all the whole crop and everything so that is um what we need to use 2200 yes okay right problem is i think you su you're supposed to put that onto a trailer aren't you have we got a header trailer for it i'm looking through uh zern trail what is that this one right zern 620 what is a zern 620 is that is that what i've just picked up i'm curious let's let's go back and just take a quick look because is that is that what i got i do i've got the zern 620 wow okay we're gonna we're gonna definitely get that trailer because i've never seen a trailer quite like that one before and it does look pretty cool right we grab that one yes and we'll lease that one as well leasing everything for this and we're back out of there. Right, so let's go and take a look at what this is. Look at this thing. That is epic. It's absolutely brilliant. How do you make it work, though? Uh, right, it lifts up. And then you've got that bit over there. I mean, I'm just looking at this um, header reel, this thing looks awesome. Look at it. It's just a mower on that goes on the front. But, yeah, that, that does look pretty cool. And the deluxe tracks. There we go. Triangular shaped rather than the slightly bigger shape. I'm loving this. Look at this thing. I think it would actually have looked better if we'd gotten the, um, the the double twins on the front. I think that would have looked substantially better than these pokey little tracks. But still, we went for tracks. I know a lot of you always request tracks, so I've, I've gone for tracks this time. Maybe if we do some more foraging in the future, we'll go for twin um, for double tw doubles on the front or something like that. Yeah, the twin twin wheels. Um, right, let's uh, let's get that one on there a minute. Now, which way round does this go? I have no idea. Bring that. Lift that one right up in the air like that. Now, I, I, I really do not know how to use this thing. I think... Well, you, you've got that sort of... The, the bit that sticks down. So it, does, it makes me think that maybe we're supposed to approach it from that side. At the same time, I'm wanting to approach it from this side because that thing is sticking down on the other side. So it's, it's kind of in the way. Uh, well, I don't like that. Definitely doesn't like that. Is there something that I'm supposed to do? Oh, hang on. Look. That, that, that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, right. Let's lower you down a second. I'll put you down there. And I'm going to unhitch you. And then what we're to do is we're going to just back up. I may have to go and get another vehicle in order to pull this. I don't really know what it does. It seems, it seems to have, like, additional options on it. So let's just back up here a second. There we go. And jump out. 
Hopefully we can do it all with this one. So I'll just hitch that one on like that and then jump back in here. Right. We go to here so that we can just see what we got. So we got enable IC. That's for in that, that's for in the cab. Talk map size, change tool selection. Um, th th there's no options on it. Helper setting. No, I don't want helper settings. I'm I'm moving the mouse buttons around. I I oh no I, I don't want course play. Um. Well, how, well, what are you supposed to do with it then? Let's come out. Let's go over to it. Maybe there's something here. Um, right, well, that's detached the trailer. Getting nothing here apart from toggle the map size. Sometimes when you sort of go around the, the machine, you get some new, like, hidden options. So let's just de detach that one. See if there's any new options now coming up through here. Um, I'm looking up the front. There's nothing there. This is all... It's all the same. Right. Doesn't look like there's anything there. So we're going to grab this one. And then we'll go up this way. Maybe we need to do it from the other direction. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong here. There may be something to do on the header itself. That might be an option. So we'll go and we'll attach the header again. Just ease into it like this. There we go. Right. And then I'll go to the head. Right. So we've got lift the header. I definitely want to lift that one up. Enable IC, lower header, higher worker. There is, there is nothing. There are no options. So it looks like we may have to approach this from the other side. I've got a DJ Phantom in the way over there. I've got to remember not to completely... Oh, hang on. Now what are you doing? It's getting stuck. It sort of picks it up. It, it, it's getting caught on it somewhere. Look at that. Right. It's, it, that's, that's definitely not able to do anything there. I'm starting to think that maybe this trailer is not everything I was hoping it would be. I'm disappointed. Let's back out here. I'm not going to spend very much longer trying this. I just want to see if I can get it to attach. See if there's any options that come up. Anything like that. Oh, hang on. Now what's going on? It doesn't look like it's... I'm lowering it down. Picking it up. Well, what are you supposed to do with it then? I, rec I reckon that maybe it's it's set too high and it's supposed to be a little bit lower or something like that. Uh, let me let me climb out a minute and we'll go over here and we'll, we'll take another look. There's nothing there. There's no options. I'm getting no options at all. I got ent that's enter into the DJ Phantom over there. Uh, hmm. I wonder if maybe we need another vehicle down here. There is one vehicle that we can get really quickly that we can whiz down here with as, as fast as we possibly can. This bad boy right here. If we grab this one and we race off to the dealership with it, we may be able to find ourselves a little clue if we can hitch this one onto that trailer. Right then, let's see what we can do with this one. If you can, I don't know if I've actually mentioned it, but if you can hear a load of noise in the background, it is my neighbours busy doing a bit of work on their house. Um, hopefully I'll be able to edit most of it out, but you may be able to pick some of it up. Um, there is nothing we can do about it. It's just something that needs to be done. So there we go. Now then, if we just hitch that one on there. Oh, I know what else I wanted to try. I wanted to press Z just to see if there was any like connection like the PTO shaft or something like that that was coming up. But no, there's nothing on there. Okay, so then if I go here, that is the tailgate, isn't it? Yeah, that is the tailgate. That's, that's the tailgate there. Um, there is no other option there. We got change, activate, change tool selection. Goes on to me. Right, there is literally nothing else. There are no other options at all. I can bring that all the way down over there like that, but that's that's not really that's not really the way to do it, is it? I'm starting to think that this thing is useless and it doesn't actually have any real purpose. I am bitterly disappointed. I am. I, I am bitterly disappointed with that. So we'll we'll maybe we'll come back to that another time. I'll see if I'll see if I can sort of um, find out something else about that at another time. But we're not going to worry about it right now. Ooh, 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 st steady. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to back up here and then start going forwards. We're going to take a shortcut with this one. We're going to go racing in across the fields over this way. Steady. And I don't want to go too fast. There. Now we can go racing in across the fields and. We're going to go all the way over to, I think it's field one, is the one that we're going to do first. A small one over in the corner, the other side of the sugar cane from here. We'll start with that field, and we're going to get our truck and our trailers. They're all going to get over there next to 
the fields are ready but then we're also going to go and get a tractor and the tractor is going to pull the trailer around we'll have the front trailer with the truck and then the back trailer will pull around with the tractor we could even put it onto here this one could pull itself it could pull the trailer around itself although it does struggle a little bit with that um it, with turning on the headlands so maybe we'll leave that for one of these bigger fields over this side but we'll, we'll sort of wait and see um but yes, we can certainly have a tractor pulling the rear trailer up and down and we can have the truck itself pulling the front trailer up and down next to it. And then we got both trailers full, we can go whizzing over to the BGA and we get them unloaded and then we got to decide how we're going to start leveling it out. Now up until this point, I've generally used the wheel loader because I really like the wheel loader in this game. It's a very versatile machine, you can do all sorts with it. But we don't have the wheel loader and I don't really want to lease it unless I have to. I'm thinking we will try a tractor with some sort of system on the front and we can sort of do it like that. Whether it's going to work very well, I, I don't actually know. We'll, we'll wait and see on that point. So our combine over there. The only issue I've got with that combine leaving it on how it is, is the fact that it's... Um, you know what, I think we might go and change that one over. It's going to take a little while for it to get down to the bottom. It might be better if we... No. If I go on to standard hired help, that's just going to be equally as awkward. So probably better. No, we will just we will just leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. We, we won't worry about it. So let's get on to this one here. We're going to unfold this. Oh, no, I'm, I'm on the wrong thing. Let me just press X on here and see if anything happens on it. Hmm. OK, there are, there is no unfolding animations or anything on that one. Doesn't do anything at all. That one goes up like that. And I think it's ready to go. So if I just go uh, press B. Everything starts up. Everything's ready to go. Everything is all tickety boo. It's working. So I'm just going to let's just stop that one there a minute. We'll put this one on hide help. What we need to do is we need to go over this way and we need to go and get our truck. Now we're going to have to have one of these tractors down as well. Here is our truck. We'll take this one over to the field so that it's ready. We got these two trailers here, raring to go. They take a lot of silage. We get. We should be able to get through this silage pretty quickly. I'm hoping we can. We'll probably be the rest of the week on this silage. Um, or we'll probably be all of this week. We haven't really actually started yet, though. Um, it would be, it'd be good if we could get at least a, a load or two done before we have to go. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll carry on through this week, and, and then we'll see. I'm not sure how much more we're going to do. We've also got to decide what we can do with this sugar cane, and I'm seriously considering putting hired help with a, tra a small trailer and just sort of doing it like that, just like li little bits rather than a, a major, major job on that. Uh, let me stop there a minute. Now, this one, you've got to go back or run all the way back down here and then you've got to do it man manually because we do have the manual attaching. Now we can come over to you, start you up again. We we we'll get you back to where you were just now. And uh, go like that. Now then, uh, control H so that I can take it... Off. I'm just going to go with normal AI on this one rather than anything fancy. And then we press H. Oh, yeah. It doesn't go anywhere until you've actually got a trailer lined up ready to go. So if we bring the trailer up this way. I'm going to swing it round. There we go. Nice and sharp. We've only got double wheels on the back of these trailers, so it should work fairly well. And we are away. Look at that. And it's going at a good speed, too. The speed is racing up across the field. If you look on the top left hand side of the glance mod that is one of the soft mod hub for those of you that don't know 16.2 kilometers per hour on the harvesting which is actually really really awesome so i'm going to try and just use my foot pedal to match the speed of this up and down the field um but obviously we can use a bigger setting for it as well that, that would work equally well now if we're going to get 3,000 liters for one pass across the field Although I think the next pass will get slightly more because of the um, increased width that it should take with the hide help. We're going to get all of this field done in, in two. That, that'll be it. Where are you going? I've no idea why it does that sometimes. Oh. What are you doing? Sometimes it does this and it, it sort of goes for the grass that is around the outside of the field and decides that it's going to harvest the grass instead. Seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> um, right, I, 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 I don't know what's going on there. It looks like it thinks it's wider than it is. Because that is really not what we want. It's supposed to be on standard hired help. Oh, it's now moved out to where it's supposed to be. 
If it's going to do that every time, there is something seriously wrong with it. And we may have to change back to the um, the other hired help. This is supposed to be standard hired help doing this. Something There's something not quite right there. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but there is something a little bit hinky about that. It is going to require a little bit more investigation. But it's working. We've got the lorry going up across the field, the truck, whichever you want to call it. Oh, oh, um, um, well, well, we did have it going up across the field really, really well until I drove in front of it. Now uh, it's going up across the field again. And at this time it's actually doing it really, really well because I'm driving in the right place. It's, it's all going in. That is superb. That is brilliant. We're really pleased with that. And now let's see if it will actually turn around or not. I'll anchor around here. Right, where are you? What are you doing? What kind of turn is that? That is... <laughs> what is wrong with this thing? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. This is really, really bizarre. It's leaving, it's leaving strange bits on the field as well. It's, it's actually lined up a little bit better this time round, but still, what is wrong with it? Not quite sure that that is supposed to happen like that. We will, we will have to investigate a little bit further. I, I really don't know what that is all about. That, that is the most bizarre thing I have seen in a while. And I've seen this game do some very bizarre things at times. But that, that is seriously weird. But at least it's, it is working. It is cutting the crop. We're, we're getting that. So we, we, we are making some progress, even if it is a little bit slow and strange. And then we've got this bit down here. We've got this little strip that we managed to leave last time. And why? What? Why are you leaving strips? Is it going to do it again? I really hope not. I, I really don't want it to be doing this every time. It's, it's taking an awfully long time to do its turnaround. It should just come out a little bit. Turn around and then whip back. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> this is brilliant. Look at it. I'm going to flick over to it a minute. Oh, what are you doing? You look like you're going back to the yard. Right across the middle of the field. Um, right, you are going to stop. You, 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 you're... I, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't. And it concerns me that you think that this is acceptable behaviour. So we're going to have to let that person go. They are now off looking for alternative employment. It's... 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 It's not them, it's us. Let's just, just put it like that, shall we? It's not them, it's us. Now then, if I go into here and I go to this AI like this and then I go to... Um, no. Do I want it like that? No, I want it like that. And I want to go up and down like this. Right, straight reverse. Let's see what happens if we do that. I press this and it's going to read the field and then we can go up across and then we will see at the very end... Once we get down to the other end, what it's going to do. We're still only 10,000 litres in here. There is not a great deal of silage coming off of this field. I got a feeling, though, that it runs a little bit slower when it has this AI. Or does it? How far? We were going at 16k last time. Now this time it's going at 13.6k, which is slow. So it's definitely run slower with this one. It will all depend on how it performs on the turn on the end of the field. Because the normal AI is obviously not liking this John Deere for some reason. I no, I really don't know why either. Because it did, I thought originally that maybe it was the, the wrong width. But it corrected itself, didn't it? it? It did move back into the right place. There's obviously something else going on with it that makes it think that the, the, width, the, the widths aren't right. There's something it's not reading correctly. It may be that we've got to get rid of that particular header and we've got to get a different whole crop header. There is the crone one, so maybe we could try that one in next week's episode. Next week's, uh, in tomorrow's episode, sorry. Um, we'll take a look at it, but let's, let's see what happens here. Whether this particular hired help is able to do it a little bit better than the standard. I really can't understand that. The standard hired help is normally the fast one. That's normally the one that works. You know, if you're going to have trouble, you have trouble with this one, not the other one. Right, stop. Okay, it would appear that this one is... What are you doing? Seriously, what, I... what is wrong with these people? <laughs> um, right, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure what's going on there, but it, it doesn't seem to be any better. 
That's just leaving a huge, great big chunk of the field and not doing anything at all. So there's definitely no improvement there. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cancel that. Right. You have proved yourself to be utterly and totally and completely useless. So let's go under here a minute and we'll, we'll just take that off of there. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do that a minute. I'm just going to do this. Then I'm going to go under here. So let's try going round and round. Maybe this is the answer. Maybe this is what we need to do in order to make it work. Uh, I want to go to helper settings. Turn offset. No, I want turn angle to be increased if I'm going to be doing it like this. Uh, weight during un... Well, that doesn't really... That shouldn't make any difference. No, it won't. Uh, axe side left. Uh, width offset. Show AI vehicle. I, I don't really know what any of these are for, but so we'll, we'll just go... Okay, right. There. Now, if I bring this one back a little bit, we'll back him up here. And we'll see whether this one can do it if it's going to sort of do the turns on the bottom end of the field. I love the fact that we've got those going over there. So it's, it, it is like simple stuff to do with the um, course play. But it's actually really, really awesome that we've got them working away in the fields over there. We've got a couple of hired help just come in for the day, do a little bit of work for us. And they are actually doing a really, really grand job of it. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Okay. You are going down across the field. You're doing the first bit well, like you're supposed to. This, this is what you're supposed to do. What else? Is, whether the other bit is going to work as well, I, I don't really know at the moment. This, this, is the, this is the big question, is whether it's going to work properly for the rest of it. I haven't actually had the map up today. I do apologise. I know a lot of you like to have the map so you can see what's going on. So bring this one down. And the big question is whether he can turn sensibly at the bottom of the field, whether he can get round the corner. He may, he may not. At the moment, it's really touch and go. We've got no idea whether he's going to be able to do it or not. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm starting to think that the amount of time it takes to fill one trailer is not going to be worth messing around with the second one. We could just run this one straight over, empty it out, and then come back and get going with it again. Right, so both the... Both versions of Hide Help do some very strange stuff when they're turning on the headlands to um, turn back on themselves and then go again. On the corners, it's a lot better. It's not brilliant. He, he did do some... It was slightly strange, but he has done it. He's gone round the corner and he seems to have done all right. And possibly, it might be uh, something to do with the headlands, maybe? If we do twice round, we'll then set it back to the standard hide help going up and down the field, and we'll see if it's any better with going round the corner for the... the, the uh, like turning on the headland for the final time. So I'll bring this one back. He's going to do his little turn. He's going to try and find out where he is. I'm going to back this one up here so he's out of the way. And then I'm going to whiz around the other side of him. Right, he should stop. There we go. Okay, so he's, he's now doing it a little bit more sensibly. It takes, it takes a little bit of time to do the turn. But overall, there is a vast improvement. This is what we want. This, we, we want good things to happen. We don't, we don't want to have to fire our employees for being utterly, completely useless. Um, and you, got, you get to the end of the field, you're just going off on an excursion somewhere into the middle of the next field. That's not what you want. You don't need that. You, you need people to be able to focus. Focus, pay attention, and just keep going. Just, just keep everything moving forwards in a timely fashion. Just ease it up through there. I'm, I'm actually going to just do that a minute. And yes, you, you know exactly why I'm going to do that. And I was just about thinking, you know, this would be a really good spot for our, our, our good old screenshot. And then I drove in front of it and it, it, it messed it all up. It's not what we want. I'm doing it again. What is wrong with me? Stay up there. It's difficult to drive from this angle. You can't quite see where, where it's all going. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted it just like that. Maybe, maybe round a little bit so you can just, just see it a little bit better. We will let that one pull just slightly forward. Now we're talking. How's that? But we'll, we'll see. Well, you, you probably already know because you'll have already seen it by the time you're watching this. See, this is one of those things where it's always a mystery to me while I'm recording it. But when you guys are watching it, the mystery is already solved. You already know what is it. It's like you can see into the future. You all have a crystal ball. I'm the only person that can't see into the future. It's not fair. I want superpowers as well. That would be really awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start talking about superpowers. I'm really not. We bring this one up through here. F is blocked by not. Is that me or is that my combine over there somewhere? No, it's not the combine. Nope, they're, they're, they're fine. They're working just fine. They're going along in the fields. We are running out of time now. So my question for this week. Oh, we're, gonna, we're just going to get this one to the end of the field over here. 
I'm actually going to stop the truck right there. And I'm going to run round the back. There we go. And jump into you. Right, so let's just press H. And we'll bring this one over here. So what I'll do is I'll do Control H like that. And I'll put that back to standard help. And we'll see what he's going to do when he gets down to the other end of the field. I can just start him up like this. And I can bring him round. There, like this. And he will line up. He will line up. Let's bring that one there. Right, perfect. Press H. And he's away. And he will reach a bit. And then I can go over into the truck. So, yes, yeah, so my question for this week is which tractor should we get from Agco? And it's got to be an Agco tractor. We're getting the Estrella, the Stara Estrella Sea Drill, which is this huge, great big 14.4 meter one here. Recommended horsepower, a minimum of 420. So what I decided was that we have got Agco. They are the ones that are providing the vehicles. So we are either going to have the MT800E Field Python from Challenger right here. These are Agco. Challenger is Agco. Um, and we've also got the Field Viper right here. The, um, they will have engine upgrades, so they will be able to cope with everything we need. So 438. Um, so we can have the Field Python or the Field Viper. Or we can have the Big Bud 450. I'm deliberately not going for the slightly bigger Challenger here. I didn't want articulated tractors. However, this articulated tractor right here, this is going to be a bit different. This would be a special deal that Agco have done. They have uh, pulled some strings and they've been able to get us the small Big Bud tractor for here on this farm if we want it. I'm not sure if we want it though. It, it may be more trouble than it's worth, so we'll have to sort of wait and see. So what do you want? I mean, we, that one's fairly slow on the road, 30k, but then so are these. Th these aren't exactly built for speed, but they are faster. These are 40k, and this one over here is 30k, but this one's a 500 horsepower engine. So there's that to take into account as well. So do you want the Big Bud 450? Do you want the Challenger Field Viper? Or do you want the Challenger Field Python? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And now that we've got the standard hide help, we are bombing up across the field at a um, rather good 16.2 kilometers per hour. Um, I like the fact that it does go faster. It's the, the whole turning on the end of the field that has me a little bit concerned about the sanity of the person driving it. So we will see whether it was something to do with the headland. Maybe that has thrown it a bit. I, although I'm start, I, I, I think that I very much doubt it. I, I very much doubt that that has got anything to do with it whatsoever. I think it's just insane. What? Right, what's it going to do? It should go out, it should turn around, and then that should be it. It shouldn't go off for a pleasure cruise. Look at that. What are you doing? No, that's actually... Okay, um... Right, it was doing well, but then it's... It's, um... It, it's... Now what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Now it's come back... And it's gonna line up in the wrong part of the field. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? The only possible thing that it could do. I think it's just about touching. I may need to actually ha um, like go and take a look at the mod itself. Maybe there's something on the mod that is causing it to do that. But I don't. Re I can't really figure out what it might be because once it gets going, it does go to the edge of the crop. So it, it does. I, I really have no idea. But anyway, that is all we got time for today. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. In our next episode, I'm thinking that I will probably try... I'm going to just take a quick look at that header, but I'm thinking that I will try the Crone Whole Crop header on this particular forager, and we'll see if that makes any difference. It might be something to do with this particular header. I really have no idea. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.